Tobias Harris, three points in 32 minutes, straight up unacceptable. What's even more unacceptable to me is three shot attempts in 32 minutes. What are you doing out there? What 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 is fulfilling the rest of your time on the court? And this is what struck me the most about there being an issue with Tobias Harris is this stat right here. Tobias Harris has shot fewer than 10 field goal attempts in five of his last seven games. He only attempted fewer than 10 shots once in the first 19 games of the season. And that was the very first game of the season. And on top of that, Tobias has only attempted more than three three-point attempt, three attempts once in the past nine games. That just does not cut it. And, like, I get it. I know all the good guy stuff. I know all the finding his role, whatever. There's no reason why you shouldn't be seeking out your own shot. That was a night where the Sixers desperately needed someone to cook a little bit, to go create their own shots. That's why Tobias Harris is here. That These are the opportunities that you should be stepping up in. And I think that we've kind of fully hit that wall of being frustrated to Tobias Harris is fully incapable of getting more put on his plate when this team needs to. He is what he is, and he's no longer this guy that's sacrificing his role or what, what the team needs. This is what he's capable of. Three points in 32 minutes just straight up can never happen again. Yeah, I I don't even know what to make of that one. Um, like, is he really getting eaten up by Pat Williams like that bad? Uh, he's a good he defender. Should not be. He should not be like he Pat Williams is a good defender, but he should not be eaten up like that. Um, and it really comes down to the, like the thought process of like, can you win? Can you win a championship with Tobias Harris being like your third best offensive player? Oh no, that um, ship long gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, you gotta wonder now, like in the NBA, expiring contracts are as good as gold, right? Yeah. Like, I don't think you have to attach anything to him to get rid of him. To be completely honest with you, I think that there is a there is a way out there to have moved on from Tobias at this point. What is it about him that's keeping him around? Are they waiting for it to be a salary match situation? Are they waiting for him to get better? Like I, I really like I don't. I, that was naturally <laughs> at his prime at the that, age yeah, of thirty one. <laughs> that wasn't like really meant to be a joke, but it came out that way. Um, <laughs> but I, I really I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what the deal is with him um, because like at his best, right? Like when Tobias is playing his best in this offense and this team, like he's giving you 16 to 18 a night, right? Like, is that good enough? Like, is that like, it's not, especially now when you have like switchable wings that play defense and space the floor and are willing shooters that'll take contested shots that'll drive to the basket and actually put up, but like get to the rim um, when it's not a fast break and, and they'll fucking dunk um like there's multiple guys on this team that kind of filled the roles that he's supposed to be doing um and i just don't know what like i don't know what he's good at i don't know what his defining skill is i don't know where it comes from and maybe like i'm sure that he's uh, it's nice to have the consistency right like we've talked about that a ton but more is extended through the next four years Nick Nurse is here for you know the foreseeable future. Joel Embiid has the contract that he needs, and Tyrese Maxey is going to be around. Like, boom! There's your there's your core. There's your conglomerates. It's okay for him to. It's okay to let go of this. It feels like we've just been handcuffed to this guy for so long. It feels like he's been a sixer for so long. I saw somebody post um, to end it out here. Sorry, I've been ranting, but um, they went back and found the tweet from Bleacher Report that was like 76ers trade for Ford Tobias Harris, and then they. They posted a clip from Interstellar of uh, <laughs> McConaughey's like, no, don't do it, Murph. Don't do it, Murph. <laughs> and I was just dying laughing at that because like, it is like, damn, dude. Like 20 or what was that? 2018, 2019. Like, geez, Louise, man. How has it been that long? 